Um, I'm Nate Shotbell, and uh, we're in Lexington, Michigan at Three North Vines. Um, this is a brewery, winery, and cidery. My wife Christy and I opened uh, Three North Vines Vineyard and Winery in 2014, and uh, we expanded last fall on 2021. And partner Ryan, um, who approached us with this uh, venture um, a couple years ago now, and uh, he was looking at the, the property that was for sale here in Lexington and kind of had his eyes on it. And, he approached us about it and said, would you be interested in doing a partnership downtown? And at the time, we knew this facility was for sale and we were kind of like, eh, not so much. But um, just working with him and working through the process, we set up a bunch of hurdles and uh, overcame every single one. Now, as far as <laughs> starting in the pandemic, yes, it was a challenge and it probably wasn't the best time to do it, but what time is, right? <laughs> So at our downtown location um, in Lexington, it's expanded to a brewery. Um, we have a three barrel system in which we are getting into brewing beer. So it's new to us, but we are really enjoying it, learning a lot. The industry's um, really open and welcoming uh, to it. So we've really done a good job at um, bringing that to the market. Um, additionally, we also have craft soda uh, for somebody who doesn't necessarily want to have alcohol. Um, you, you've got something else and also for kids. Also at this location, we've expanded and have a whole menu um, with a lot of food, sandwiches, salads, lots of things to provide here. I would say that Michigan's wine industry on a whole is probably where California was 40 years ago. Just get its, getting its wheels turning and, and just starting to be recognized internationally. Um, Michigan on a whole has um, a great growing region. Um, we're very moderated by the lakes. Prevailing winds give a stretch that distance out on the west side of the state much further than it does on the east side. Um, our vineyards within two miles of the two miles of the lake, so we do get a moderating effect. Uh, grapes start growing typically right around in May, early May, and uh, we usually are harvesting right around mid-September to late uh, to late September. Um, we do stretch into October to some, on some of the varieties that are uh, more late season harvest. Grapes are more like a tree. <laughs> uh, you put it in the ground, and you shouldn't have to touch it for for quite a few years. Now there is some attrition and some die off and some things like that. Uh, winter damage is is popular in Michigan, unfortunately. Um, we constantly battle bugs and, and uh, fungus and diseases and other things, but uh, you're usually taking, looking at about 35 pounds of grapes uh, to get a case of wine, um, maybe a little less than that. Um, each plant's going to produce close to that, so that's what we're looking, that's what we're looking to get out of our plants. Um, we have about 12 different bottles of wine right now, both reds and whites, a mix of earthy reds, fruity reds, um, and then the whites, anywhere from a dry white to a sweet white. We really liken ourselves to being within a driving distance of Lansing. It's an alternative um, to going up north. As much as you know, we love going to Traverse City and everywhere up north, it's, it's a great feeling. We're really close. We can be, you can be here on a tank of gas. Um, you can have a weekend trip. You can have a, a few days and, and get away. And really, once you get up here, you feel like you're in anywhere up north Michigan.